What's up everyone? It's another weekend and Bubba Chuck 14 is back here again with another video for you. But before we get to that, I just want to remind you that you can still go to rippedapparel.com and use my code bubbachuck 14 ripped to get 10% discount on whatever you want to buy on that site. So that's bubbachuck 14 ripped to get 10% off your purchase at ripapparel.com and in addition to that for any new subscribers if you subscribe to my channel you get a chance to win a digital code for any of the following movies that I have Mission Impossible Rogue Nation Creed Deadpool X-Men Apocalypse The Brothers Grimsby The Shallows Don't Breathe Lights Out Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Split, Logan, and Dad. Southpaw. Sergeant Cup, who was with Hot Rod in the Transformers the movie. And I got the two guys who've been staples of the G1 Transformers cartoons, Bumblebee and Braun. So as for the packaging, that's what they look like. So you got a shell and you can see Cup inside with his weapons. Got a picture of his uh, alternate mode. And on the back, you can see that that's how he transforms. And there's some writings about Cup in three different languages. So if you want to read that. So it's got Transformers and the Transformers Autobot logo. It's the same thing with Bumblebee. So you see Bumblebee and a nice illustration of Bumblebee and a picture of Bumblebee in his alternate mode with some readings and descriptions about Bumblebee. And same with Braun because it's the same line with Titan's Return. So you've got a nice illustration of Braun and Braun on his packaging and at the back another writing about Braun and then Braun and his alternate mode so now you see now the figures in their packaging let's open them up so we can see how mind-blowing and if they are spectacular or not so here we've got Braun and this is how he looks like out of the box he comes with his instruction sheets and his bio or tech specs card and it shows the tech specs of Braun just like the old school transformer so here he is this guy I like the head sculpt it's really awesome really really reminiscent of the old school G1 transformers and even how he looks like and how he transforms is very very reminiscent and even the head sculpt is like in the cartoon like if you see the old school toy I think if I correctly remember didn't have the head sculpt the same as the cartoon show and you got this nice Autobot logo here and it's really nice they included the paint uh, blue paint detail and see the side it's really nice that he doesn't have a lot of clutter in the back so he moves fairly well so you can put him in a lot of poses and he's got this shield which is a part of the truck when he transforms that's a spare tire it's really nice so it looks like uh, you can use it as a weapon shield it's really really possible guy and the nice thing about him is you can use the other Titans returns weapons and he can hold them so this is Hot Rod's uh, gun so he looks really badass holding his shield and his double barrel gun he looks really badass so to transform this guy is very easy so we take off the gun and the shield. So first thing is you just 
turn the hands both hands sideways then you just fold them up to shoulders fold it this way and then on the sides the hands or the arms will groove in the side of the doors just like this and for the feet just fold up the heel spurs and then fold the feet back like this and you can see here I forgot to tell you that there's a uh, this two will clip together so this one gets inside this one so before you fold them up put them together it will just click in place it's really easy to transform so this one it depends on how you want it so if you like you can put it on top so it looks like a really armored up vehicle Humvee for me it looks like a Jurassic Park truck so if you want you got the Jurassic Park so you got brawn and you got Grimlock so it's really awesome to look at Grimlock's really big so if you can see how awesome they look together or if you want you can put the shield here at the back so these two clips you can see here these two clips will slide into this post and it holds the feet together so it looks like this one so that's his normal configuration so now that we're done with brawn let's get on to bumblebee so here is bumblebee out of the box and the same as brawn he's got his instruction manual and his tech specs card that comes with it and on the front you got a really nice illustration of bumblebee and at the back is his old school text band here we've got bumblebee and his buddy spike uh, this one doesn't come with a figure but he came with a masterpiece optimus prime the reason i brought him out is we can use him later so this is how bumblebee looks like and again like his mold is really reminiscent of the old school bumblebee how the chest looks like and his head sculpt is really really old school I like that I don't mind how bulky the arms are and how he transforms is uh, really really simple and reminiscent still of the old school bumblebee even if he's not a Volkswagen but they just uh, remolded, him, remolded him so that he fits into the new generation that's why the Transformers generation line is keeping up and he's got this nice Autobot logo here it's really nice so how to transform him it's really easy so first we pop out the chest and you can take this one out, fold it out, and then turn the arm sideways that would form the doors. So after that, these ones will latch to these holes at the back of the car. So you just push them back, push the arms back. And 
snap it back in so if you can see the back it's gonna snap in and then these doors just slide these two panels in it's inside the door so the stripe black stripe should be out it's the same as here and for the legs you just fold them over and this is the tricky part because it's hard to line up the legs so if you can see these black slots they're gonna line up to this ones here so that's how you push it in same thing on the other side these ones oops, these ones line up um, these ones so just fold the legs in and it's very hard to line them up so just a sec that's the problem with sliding in these doors because they just pop out easily So once you get them all in, like he's really really solid. So here you've got Bumblebee in his car mode. And the reason that I bought out Spike is because these are the Titans Return uh, figures. So they have these like Hot Rod, the one I reviewed before. They've got this mode where you can put in the Titan Masters. But the nice thing about this is Spike can fit in Bumblebee. Unlike a Hot Rod, Spike couldn't get in and ride Hot Rod. But this one's really nice because he fits inside Bumblebee. And just like that, you've got Spike driving Bumblebee. So Braun has the same feature. It's just a spike couldn't fit in, so let's put Hot Rod's Titan Master Fire Drive and we're gonna put him in Brawn so he can drive Brawn. Come on, man. Come on. We're driving already. There you go. And you've got Fire Drive inside Brawn. So here are the two mini bot Titan Masters. Now let's move on to Cup. So here we've got Sergeant Cup and his Titan Master or Headmaster Flintlock. So it's the same as the other Titan Masters, he comes with an instructions sheet and his tech specs bio card and in the front is the illustration of Sergeant Cup and on the back his tech specs, him and uh, Flintlock combined together so he also comes with his two guns so he got his twin barreled guns which is really reminiscent of the guns in aliens and i really like how they look like because uh hot rods guns aren't too impressive like, they just look like this Cups are way more awesome. So it's the same thing, you can combine both of them. So it becomes a twin barreled gun. It looks more badass. And you can put Flintlock, the same thing as the other Titan Masters. So we can go in there and sit and control the guns. And let's take a look at Flintlock. 
Bucks compared to Hot Rods, Titan Master, Flintlock looks a lot better. It's got this blue, teal blue and gray. And unlike uh, Hot Rods, which just looks like uh, all plain gray, there's no color. You compare the two. Flintlock looks a lot better than Fire Drive. Oh, fire drives looking at the side, eh? So there's the both of them. So uh, to convert into cups head, just fold it over. And as you can look, it's really a very very nice head sculpt of cup, just like in Transformers the movie. So him and his buddy Hot Rod. So there you go. So let's take a look and put Cup's head. Really looks good. I really like the colors. Nice Autobot logo here. I really like his chest piece and how transparent and you can see. I love how these Titan Masters figures have don't have that much kibble at the back. I like the engineering, so it's really very nice and they're very 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 poseable. So you can put them in a lot of poses. So you can have him hold his twin barrel gun. So he looks really really badass. So that's Sergeant Cup and to transform him it's really very easy. So let's take off his gun, take off the head. So first steps just move the fist sideways and if you can see these holes they will tab into this post at his shoulders. So just fold him up and after that you can see these slots, these ones will peg into those slots so just fold them over like this. So as you can see these will peg in there. So that's the first part and now you unpeg the waist and accordion them so it's opened up and you open this canopy which will reveal the front of the truck you can close it up so it looks like uh, jerwalk mode <laughs> except with no arms so just fold it oh, first you have to rotate then fold it then as for the legs this is really cool so flip the legs close other uh, feet closed then open these panels up and after that on the side of the legs you can unpeg them and open this one up so just straighten them out so take this one and then unpeg so it looks like that and then what's cool is you just fold them over and if you can see they have slots here and here these two will peg into the holes here so it's the same on the other side You've got this one and this one, so just fold them over and line them up. So these two don't really peg into anything, so just fold them and lock them together like that. It's really, really nice transformation.
So once you get them all lined up, it's pretty easy. It's the same thing as Bumblebee. It's very fidgety to line up. Once you've got everything lined up, these two pegs just lock together and just fold them. So there you've got Cup in his truck mode. So Cybertronian truck really looks awesome. I love the colors and the two guns. You can peg them here at the two holes. So you can want, if you want, you can put them shooting backwards or you can have them pointing forward. As for flintlock, this is awesome because you just transform him back to robot mode and you can put him in to drive cup. So that's how he looks like. And the really nice thing about Cup is you see how he's got these holes in the back of his feet. He can peg into any of these holes and stand up there or man the guns. So turn sideways and you can put Spike and let him drive Cup because he fits inside you can close the canopy so there's spike in there and flint luck at the back looks really awesome so for the final shot here is cup bumblebee and brawn with the rest of my other Generation 1 collection, so we've got Optimus Prime, Grimlock, and Hot Rod, the other guy, the Titans Return line. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you subscribe so you can get a free digital copy. Uh, which one of the Transformers did you like in my video? And who's your favorite Transformer of all time? Comment below in the section in the comment section and as always do it with style or don't do it at all.